Another dreamer and welcome to the channel. So my name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a framework session to see how your day will progress. So off the cuff we've got the lover's card. Alright so kind of looks like maybe this actually might be a little love reading for you and what I'm sensing here is that this is an it's coming through as a very new connection a connection that well it's taking a moment to unfold you see how they're they're just now starting to touch so it looks as though maybe you're getting to know someone brand new you're you haven't yet become intimate with each other or anything like that but what it's talking about is that you're actually kind of feeling out each other's vibes and because that card is presented in the daytime, it's interesting. Hang on, I just wanna look at that again. It's the artist. So, it's starting to look like maybe they're, maybe they're actually viewing you, viewing you as an art form. Fascinating. They actually might be like, Whoever you're connecting with, it's like they are, they're an artist, like they're drawing you or something, or you're, you're like a model for like their muse, something along those lines. So for the underlying energy of your reading today, we have the hangman. And yes, this is making sense because as a muse, you have to stand, or at least someone who is being drawn live, you have to stand really, really still. And that's what this is coming through as. So your underlying energy is one of stillness, kind of staying in place, holding your pose, holding your posture, and allowing someone else to view you. I often see this shape here around the hangman as an eye. And so what it's talking about is that the one who is viewing you is, I mean, it's like they're witnessing you in all of your glory. It's almost as if you're like a, a a nude model for an art class or something along those lines. That's what it, that's what it feels like. So for the bridging energy, let's see. On the split, we have the Four of Swords. Okay. So what this is talking about is that while you're in this space, while you're in this space of stillness, holding your posture, holding you know all of your extremities, if you will, in, in one position, your mind is actually, you're going into a meditative state. And because of that, you're almost looking like someone who is, this is very interesting. It's like, this is actually a screen. I often see the, the border of this as if he's in a glass case. So it's, it's bringing up an awareness that you are, are actually separated from whoever is viewing you and because of that you're actually you're looking like almost like you're on display at a museum or some, something along those lines it's very interesting um so with the lover's energy that was coming up you know previously that actually makes a lot of sense because what i was saying was that you two haven't yet like touched or become intimate or, or spoken in some type of way. But what's really happening is that you're feeling each other, each other's energy. I want to say that you actually might be very unaware that their energy is focused upon you because you're seeming like you're in a glass case and they're witnessing you in your, while you're holding your position. So let's look at the overall energy and see what that has to say. So for your overall energy today, we have, we have the nine of wands. <laughs> I'm chuckling a little bit because it's almost looking like maybe you're not wanting to be viewed maybe you actually want to stay behind this it's it's coming through as like you're building a glass fortress or you're building a fortress around you you don't want to be viewed you don't want to be someone's muse you're very you're fighting against it right 
And so, but the funny thing is that you're putting up all of these boundaries and everything around you, but the funny thing is that it's glass. So regardless of whatever you do to kind of prevent someone from seeing you or witnessing your beauty or even um, inspiring them to, you know, inspiring them to take you on as a muse, it's like, it's not, it's not stopping their admiration of you. That's what this is referring to. It's like that boundary or whatever that may be is, it's not preventing them from viewing you. So as always, this message was brought to you by the Psychic Broadcasting Service and is made possible by dreamers just like you. So make sure to contribute by leaving a little comment down below and follow me for more messages to unfold.